Hi guys, this is a follow-up video on my gaming PC build. I wanted to show you guys what it ended up looking like and also discuss with you uh, some of the problems and issues that I ran across while building it. One of the first issues I came across with this case is the back plate here. Um, as you can see on both of the sides, there's large gaps um, which aren't supposed to be there. Um, also, I want to zoom in on the, the screws right here. This one, the one below it. As you can see, it's barely catching that back plate, which is unacceptable in my opinion. Um, and, and it's the reason why is because this back plate is too small uh, for this case. So, on a case that costs this much, it's supposed to be top of the line, it really this is really unacceptable in my opinion. And so if we come down further down to the bottom of the case, um, I want to see if it will pick up on camera where I actually had to paint with black marker. Let me see if I can finagle my camera. Uh, So right here, let's see if we can zoom in. There we go, there we go. You can see it right there. This was painted with uh, black marker, with permanent marker, because um, when I went to remove the screws to kind of figure out how I wanted to do my power supply, the paint came off. Um, and that happened with several screws. It also happened down here with this one. You can see where I had to put marker on it. Um, and on this side right here. Um, and then, let's see, again, right here. So I did notice right before I started filming, I actually have a new spot here where paint is chipped off. And I guess this is like a scratch or something. This is new, I'm not quite sure how they how those got there, but um, yeah, that's definitely new. I'm not too thrilled about the quality of the paint. Right here is another uh, issue like the back. All I did was uh, take the screw out to take the shroud out. And as you can see, uh, the paint also came off there. This is the front view um, of the tempered glass side. Uh, right here, I have an issue with this border. Uh, it's a blacked out border. This uh, case itself was meant to showcase your RGB lighting. Um, and as you can see on um, over here as well, it's blocked my two fans in the front. You can only see half of them. Over on this side, you can only see like the edge. Uh, I know they were trying to hold a, the metal, a metal piece that connects the hinges over here, but uh, it really, takes away from being able to showcase your fans, uh, especially from a distance. Like right now, I'm probably three feet away from my case. Um, and you know, you can't really enjoy the fans like you should be able to. Um, it, you have to get up close and I'll, what I'll do is I'll come up close here. So if I'm sitting at my computer, this is, this is the view that I get. You know, I can see you know, the uh, two fans over here. I can see more of the exhaust fan over here, um, but that's about it. It's still cut off quite a bit by that uh, border. So um, for a case that's meant to showcase your RGB lighting, it, you know, doesn't really do a good job of it. I'm kind of bummed that it cuts off most of my fans. Of you who watched my unboxing video for this case, you'll remember that I mentioned the magnetic sticker here that they put on the door to hold it. Um, the little corner piece at that time had popped up and I had mentioned that uh, it was going to be an issue long term for this case. Uh, it's only been two weeks since I've been using this case and I want to show you guys here you can see that a lot more of the magnetic sheet is coming unstuck from the uh, case now and as well up at the top um, it's doing that as well not as bad but definitely 
there is movement on um, on that paper as well. Uh, so this is what I was afraid of, and like I said, two weeks into having the case and using it, uh, it's already getting worse. My main issue with this uh, is the fan controller. As you can see, it's a huge controller. It has um, a six fan power header on it. Uh, it also connects to your motherboard with a USB 2.0 header, and it's powered uh, by a Molex cable. Now, you would think you're able to use software to control this fan controller. When I found out there's no software at all, I was very surprised. Per Cooler Master, they say the only reason you use the USB 2.0 header is to update your fan controller firmware in the future. I did not expect this at all. Um, so you literally can leave the USB 2.0 header unplugged and use your USB 2.0 header for something else. Uh, the fan controllers made by other companies come with software so you're able to customize your lighting effects. Um, but with this one, you can only use either the front buttons on the front panel of the case or uh, and switch between the pre-programmed lighting effects, which I will show you at the end of this video. Uh, or you have to have a motherboard with an addressable RGB header that can sync with the fan controller if you want to personalize your lighting effects. Those are the only two ways, people. The only two ways. My motherboard, of course, doesn't have that, so I have to use the buttons on the front panel uh, which works out for me because I was going for the rainbow effects anyway. Um, also, by the way, uh, you guys uh, will notice that there's going to be fingerprints when I do views of the computer, uh, uh, the PC at the end. I left those there on purpose, so please no hateful comments about my dirty PC. I wanted to give you guys a real look at what you'll be dealing with if you have this case, so I did it on purpose. Uh, so that's it for as far as the issues I was having with this build and so now I'm just going to give you shots of what it looks like inside and out. So I almost forgot to show this part. Uh, this 3.0 uh, USB 3.0 header, ca header cable for my motherboard. If you will look at that thing, it is like at a crazy bend. The, first of all, the cable is very rigid and thick and it's very hard to bend. I really had to work with it to get it to plug into the motherboard, which makes me kind of scared that it might pop off. I also thought about removing this rubber gasket around there and possibly making it better, but I don't want to do that either because I don't know how sharp the edges are and if it will cut my cable or not. Um, so yeah, not too thrilled about that. It's just a very sharp bend. Um, uh, again, just a little bit concerned that it might pop off in the future, so I'll definitely keep an eye on that, but I wanted to show you guys what that looked like as well. Okay, so I want to show you guys um, the Cooler Master MF140MM fans that I have. I have my uh, two of them are on the top here as my intake fans. Uh, I left the third fan on the bottom, uh, just the, the regular fan that came with the case, uh, because the shroud actually covers most of that fan, so there wasn't a point in really putting an RGB fan uh, down there. Also, uh, I have another fan as my exhaust uh, back there. You can see that. And um, then also the RGB lighting down the front of the case and the bottom. And I'm going to... Uh, and on the top, I'm going to uh, press the button so you guys can see the pre-programmed lighting effects that come with the case. Um, now this has nothing to do with if it connects with your motherboard or not. This is just what comes on the case uh, pre-programmed. So I'm going to go through those and let you guys see that.
you've reached this red color, that's as far as you can go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the rainbow effect like I like. And so those are all the pre-programmed lighting effects that come with the case. Uh, so I'm going, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the front panel for you guys um, so you can see what the fans look like in case you don't want to use the front panel. So as you can see, there are my two RGB uh, intake fans that I installed. Again, the one down on the bottom I left alone. It's just a regular fan because the shroud actually covers most of that fan. Um, also, if you guys want to take a look down here at the bottom, the RGB lighting on the case reflects off of that bottom uh, silver bar down there really well. It looks really nice. Uh, so I wanted to point that out as well. I really like that effect. Um, so I'm going to run through the lighting effects again. So if you wanted to have your case like this, um, without the front panel on, you'll, you can get a good uh, view on what it would look like. So I'm going to go all the way down until it's off, and then I'm going to start from the bottom and go up to red. That's the last uh, feature. And that's the last pre-programmed uh, light effect that's in there. So um, these intake fans, these RGB intake fans and the exhaust fan are the only things in here that are controlled with the uh, ARGB button that comes on the case for the pre-programmed lighting effects. These right here are actually controlled with Corsair Link, and I'm going to go through those effects as well so you guys can see that if you're interested in, in getting any of these um, components that I did. I also did unboxing videos on those. Okay, so this part right here is all controlled by Corsair Link. As you can see, I have programmed each one of these fans to do something different, some type of different lighting effect. Um, this is what I was hoping I would be able to do with the Cooler Master MF140MM fans that I installed here and here, but unfortunately I was not able to. Um, so the only thing you can do to really customize these fans is rotate them. Um, and other than that, that, that's it for like a different effect and then change whatever uh, to whatever pre-programmed uh, lighting effect that's uh, on the case uh, you would change it with the button that's on the front panel. Um, so overall I wanted everything to be like this, but unfortunately it's not. Um, but since I did want the rainbow effect for the whole entire case, for me anyway, and for what I wanted, um, I I'm okay with this. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Um, but before I go, I wanted to ask um, you guys to do me a favor. Uh, I have this big empty section here and I'm trying to figure out what I would like to put in there to fill the space. Um, I have thought about the RGB SSDs, but I don't like the logos that they put on them. Um, and then I was also thinking about maybe a statue slash action figure type thing maybe going in there. So um, if you guys leave your comments uh, and ideas in the section below, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and that's it for this video. Uh, until next time, see you then.